What's going on, man? What's up? And welcome back to another video. In this video, we got top 10 conspiracy conspiracy theories that turned out to be true by watchmojo.com. The original link for this video is going to be down in the description. So check that out if y'all want to watch this video for yourselves. Before this video even start, bro, comment, comment down below and let me know what conspiracy theories that like y'all know about that actually are true. Like if you know anything. Like, like, look at his eye. He didn't know who we were. He didn't know we were his daughters. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we'll okay. be counting down our picks. Crazy way to start the video. Conspiracy theories that turned out to be true. Oh, there's the president sitting there signing a document. <laughs> what the heck were we worried about? For this list, we'll be going over the strangest and most famous conspiracy theories that were actually conspiracy facts. Is there a theory you once believed that you now realize was a load of baloney? Tell us in the comments. Number 10. Roswell Cover-Up In the summer of 1947, an object crashed down to Earth in Roswell, New Mexico. Theories that it was an alien spacecraft have pervaded pop culture for over a half a century since. Everybody thinks that Roswell was the first sighting of a, of a UFO in the United States, and that bull roar. The U.S. Air Force War claimed crazy. that the object was merely a weather balloon only added fuel to the fire. And the conspiracy theorists were right. It was no weather balloon and there was a cover-up. But it wasn't an alien ship either, probably. The object was a high-altitude balloon launched as part of Project Mogul. These balloons were intended Project to detect what? sound waves from Soviet atomic bomb tests. During the Cold War, the U.S. military couldn't exactly be honest about that in the papers. Now, whether you mm. think that's another cover story, well... This better not be another damn Russian spy job. Number nine, Big Tobacco's Big Lie. There's extensive use of this technology. Hey, do y'all think that um, aliens are already here on Earth? Like, like, like niggas have been covering from them for a long ass time. Like, they've been here and been doing shit. That's, that's what I think. I think that them niggas been here and the government just kind of keep it under wraps because they don't think the general public is ready for that shit or whatever, or whatever reason they're doing that shit. But I think them niggas been here and we, we just don't know. Which is called ammonia chemistry that allows for nicotine to be more rapidly absorbed in the lungs and therefore affect the brain and central nervous system. Smoking causes lung cancer and a lot of other adverse health effects. Scientists demonstrated this definitively in the 1950s. However, public opinion wavered for decades, with sources springing up to generate controversy and debate. Some suspected that the tobacco industry was suppressing and distorting the facts through a coordinated campaign, and it eventually came out that they were. Together, the mm. world's largest tobacco companies initiated Operation Berkshire to generate fake controversy and debate. Big Tobacco knew that smoking caused cancer and that nicotine was addictive. They decided not to make cigarettes less harmful because addiction made them a lot of money. Now, the work we did here is confidential, not for public scrutiny, any more than our one's family matters. You're threatening my family now, too. Just goes to show where there's smoke, there's often fire. I thought these See how camels theories agree with your throat. See how more mild and good tasting deep a into cigarette that movie. rabbit hole. Number eight, the White Sox through the World Series. The Chicago White Sox are on record for having one of the longest droughts between winning World Series at 87 years. However, they weren't Damn. always known for their bad luck. Back in the late 1910s, Dude, the Sox won in 1917, and they even had a wonder like shoeless Joe Jackson on the team. Yet, rumors during the 1919 series held that the games were fixed. The White Sox lost the series, but the rumors persisted into the next year. Eventually, a grand jury found evidence that eight players, including Jackson, though his role is disputed, were involved in a conspiracy to receive money in exchange for throwing the series. I think the Crazy. Black Sox players saw a high reward for Sox? what they were doing. They White could Sox? make as much as their yearly salary in one week uh, for fixing the World Series. While a trial found them not guilty, they were nevertheless banned from the league permanently. Number seven, Nefarious sure, whatever, they made them infiltrated geez. the government. The Church of Scientology is infamously touchy about any criticism of their organization. Get out! <laughs> I, I didn't mean anything by it. I don't even know L. Ron Hubbard. I, I... Their influence over celebrities is well known, but theories mm. about their influence over the government are also out there. And here's the thing. Scientologists really did infiltrate the government. 
In the 1970s, at least 5,000 members of the organization conducted espionage on government agencies and private organizations. It's crazy. And this wasn't a fringe element either. The founder's wife, Mary Sue Hubbard, pleaded guilty and went to prison. It was one of the largest scale infiltrations of the U.S. government in history. All of this was done with the aim of destroying evidence that painted Scientology in an unfavorable light. It arguably had quite mm. the opposite effect. Boy, those Scientologists, they can be pretty sensitive. Number six, the FBI spied on political activists. All power to all the people! Those involved in political protests and other activist causes are often paranoid that they're being watched. And they should be, because it's happened before and it can happen again. Tapes from the hotel rooms, FBI reports, those are pieces of information that we should Bro, FBI, have. I ain't watch from the late 50s man. to the early 70s, the FBI engaged in illegal surveillance, infiltration, and disruption of protest movements and Why is that nigga looking at me, bro? deemed subversive. He realized how sick this country was. We were trying to reveal the truth about segregation. These ranged from independence movements to civil rights movements to feminist organizations. They even had John Lennon, the former Beatles frontman, under watch. While you know, you know what I think is crazy about all this stuff, bro, is that we have footage, uh, we have footage and pictures of all this stuff, right? But we still don't got that hundred point Will Chamberlain game, bro. Like, what's up with that, fam? Like. Like the nigga didn't score a hundred points, bro. They're 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 lying. Cause like, where's the footage? We got footage of Martin Luther King walking down the street, but no Wilt Chamberlain, a hundred game footage. Come on now, hundred points. Now this program, you know, make me upset, Pro Intel bro. Pro was abolished in 1971. Others may have taken its place. This represents the darkest part of the bureau's history. Number five, the first female U.S. president. While the United States has yet to elect a woman to the office of president by electoral college, anyway, <clears throat> some theorize that a woman has assumed the duties of the office already. In 1919, President Woodrow Wilson suffered a debilitating stroke. This left him bedridden and partially paralyzed with some impaired judgment. If I don't help him be president, what a kind of wife am I? For over a year, Wilson's wife, Edith, aided him in governing the country to the point mm. where she was basically performing his job <clears throat> all but name. The degree of her involvement was kept a close secret, and Wilson herself mm. denied that she made executive decisions until her death. So That's he's crazy. like sitting there, and they like move his arm, and then they just release that to the press, and that's how dumb people were back then. Number four, the government is spying on you. The common refrain for cranks Duh. and conspiracy nuts for decades has been that the government is watching our every move. They are. And it's not completely wrong. With the rise of smartphones and the internet, the government has unprecedented access to information on its citizens. They're following us. In the wake of 9-11, the Bush administration initiated far-reaching mass surveillance programs, both foreign and domestic. The NSA's activities in the years since have included sucking up and storing online history, pause. emails, Major metadata, pause. text messages, you name it. Edward Snowden revealed a lot of this info with his leaks, including how other governments were also implicated. Even if you send it to somebody within the United States, your wholly domestic communication between you and your wife can go from New York to London and back and get caught up in the database. Few believe that in the time since, governments have just given up. Number three, false justification for war. In August 1964, the USS Maddox fired a warning shot as three North Vietnamese torpedo boats approached the Gulf of Tonkin. After the torpedo boats opened fire, the Maddox sank all three. Two days later, the report of a second attack prompted President Lyndon B. Johnson to authorize further military action in Vietnam. For mm. years, people questioned this justification. At one point, the commander of the ship said, we're not certain of the attack. Another point, they said, yes, we're absolutely positive. And then finally, late in the day, Admiral Sharp said, yes, we're certain it happened. It was eventually revealed that the second attack was imaginary, based on wrongly interpreted communications intercepts. It wasn't the last dubious rationale for war. In 1990, George H.W. Bush leveraged false testimony crafted by a public relations firm to initiate the Gulf War. 
Over mm. a decade later, his son would falsely claim that Iraq possessed WMDs to justify an invasion. The people Crazy. of the United States and our friends and allies will not live at the mercy of an outlaw regime that threatens the peace with weapons of mass murder. Number two, Watergate. Niggas just be lying and everybody just be believing them, bro. These politics niggas just be lying, bro. I don't know how niggas just believe everything they say. people gotta know whether or not their president's a crook. The scandal began when Republican President Richard Nixon's administration illegally wiretapped and broke into the Democratic National Committee headquarters. We don't know who ordered the burglary and we don't really know what the burglars were up to that night. Their aim was to acquire information about Nixon's opposition in the forthcoming election. The arrest of the perpetrators led to attempts by Nixon and his administration to cover up their involvement. However, mounting evidence and leaks soon exploded into a scandal that has become a byword for political disgrace, leading to Nixon's resignation. One of the things that's so hard to, to resign, resign right? Right? and understand now, looking back, is there was no sense that the president got to anyway, lie to the American think... people. Things have changed, Garrett. Uh, things have changed today. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get subscribe notified about our latest videos. Same thing. You have the option Thanks. to be notified for Love occasional you. videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one, the CIA conducted mind control experiments. The idea of a government agency trying to control people's minds might sound like science fiction, but it really happened. Crazy. Prostitutes would lure men to these apartments, and then once the men were in the apartments, they were dosed with LSD, and what? then they were basically studied by CIA scientists. In the 1970s, a commission on the CIA's activities so they got the them fried and studied the them. existence of Project MK Ultra a secret program that used drugs and torture to manipulate its victims' mental states. Wow. Kool-Aid was spiked with LSD. It was horrible. These experiments were conducted on prisoners in secret detention centers around the world, as well as within American universities, hospitals, and prisons. The CIA also funded brutal experiments involving electro- Bro, that is so crazy, bro. First of all, Niggas is trying to mind control niggas. That's crazy off, like off rip. But it's crazy. Most of these conspiracy theories were all about our government, and they were like all true, bro. What's up, man? What do we, what do we have going on? Like, like we gotta like like. It's like damn near that everything like you hear might be true type of thing. That's pretty crazy. I don't think that's that's good as a country. Montreal, Canada. Victims of everything you hear about us might be true. Who knows? Allen Ginsberg. We don't even know for real. Darkest conspiracies out there, and we still don't know the full extent of it. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe. Let's see. I hope that y'all enjoyed this one, man. If y'all did, leave a little like, comment, subscribe, share, turn the post notification bells on too. And peace, love, and positivity, and I will catch y'all in the next one, man. It's two options in this world. Is you gonna win or lose? Is you gonna take the risk or not? You know you gotta choose. Yeah, I can't keep one, so all my bitches come in twos. 